Welcome to SSA Masters. It's our first lecture on the paper F6. And in this lecture, we are starting our first chapter, which is UK taxation system. And it is mostly theory based chapter. Now, first of all, we should know tax year. The UK tax year starts from 6th of April and it's end on 5th of April. Now this information is very important to remember in your exam questions because according to this information we may require to take a value on a pro rata basis. Fine? So this information is very important to know and remember. The UK taxation system encourages few habits such as saving habits of individuals, giving charity and by giving relief in the form of gift aid scheme. In the case of entrepreneurs, for example, those who want to start new businesses, the relief can be given in a form of capital gain tax. The UK taxation system also encourages marriage and civil partnership or civil relationship and it is encouraged by giving relief in a shape of transferable personal allowance to other partner. The tax system also encourages investment in new plant and machinery by giving capital allowances. Don't worry about these words, we will see them in more detail in our upcoming videos. On the other hand, UK taxation system discourages few things such as smoking and drinking, environmental pollution and motoring by imposing some taxes and duties. For example, in the case of environmental pollution, landfill tax can be imposed and in the case of motoring, some fuel duties can be imposed. Now here we have few types of taxes. We will discuss them one by one. First of all, we have income tax. It is payable by individual on most of their income. Sorry for the spelling of income. Corporation tax. Payable by companies on income and chargeable gains. Capital gain tax. It is payable by individual on the disposal or selling of their capital assets. Then we have VAT or value added tax which is payable by the final consumer on the purchase of goods and services. Next we have inheritance tax. It is payable by individuals on lifetime and death transfer of assets. And finally we have national insurance contribution which is payable by individuals who are employed or self-employed and the businesses in relation to their employees. Now we categorize few taxes as revenue taxes while others as capital taxes. Now which taxes are included into revenue taxes? It includes corporation tax on income profit, national contribution and income tax. While in capital taxes we have corporation tax on capital gain. Okay. So this corporation tax is on capital gain while this corporation tax is on income profit. Just remember this difference. And we will see the more details of capital gain in our upcoming lectures. And then we have capital gain tax and inheritance tax which is categorized as capital taxes. Tax avoidance and tax evasions are two separate concepts. Tax avoidance is a legal method to reduce the tax burden while on other hand tax evasion is a deliberate deception to mislead HMRC in order to pay less tax. HMRC is a tax authority in UK. Okay? Different type of taxes have different type of social effects. In social factors, we have direct taxes, indirect taxes, and progressive taxes. If I talk about direct taxes, then these are on either of the following. For example, income and profit, gain, or wealth. 
by income and profit we mean income tax by gain we mean capital gain tax and by wealth we mean inheritance tax taxes on capital or wealth guarantee that individual cannot dodge tax collection by having an income of zero and surviving only on the sale of capital assets and then we have indirect taxes these are paid by consumers for example vat or value added tax these kind of taxes discourage spendings while encourage savings but on other hand on essential items such as food there can be lower or nil rate tax and finally we have progressive taxes where the proportion of income or gain paid over in tax increases as income or gain rise its main target are those people who can afford to pay personal allowances and the rate of taxation can be adjusted so as to ensure that those on very low income pay little or no tax and then we have environmental factors the taxation system accommodates environmental concerns into certain extent especially concerns about renewable and non renewable energy sources and global warming for example climate change levy raised on businesses in proportion to their consumption of energy its claimed purpose is to encourage reduced consumption then we have landfill tax its purpose is to encourage recycling by imposing tax on storing waste and then we have few rules related to lease or purchase of car its purpose is to encourage both manufacturer and users to keep the environment clean for example in the case of manufacturer they are encouraged to create low co2 or carbon emitting cars while in the case of users they are given relief if they purchase low co2 emitting cars and then we have finance act at least once finance act is passed by the uk parliament each year but in some years there is more than one finance act for example in a year where there is a general election okay it is presented to the parliament by the chancellor of exchequer in november and these changes mainly apply from the following april the treasury is the ministry responsible under chancellor of exchequer for imposition and collection of taxes the treasury appoint permanent civil servant such as commissioners for hmrc their duty includes administrating uk tax system implementing tax law and under the commissioners we have hmrc it is a single body in uk that control and administrate all the uk tax law areas So that's all for this video in the next video we will finish our chapter number 1